Who's hungry? I know I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that boot from Desperate Housewives. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, hi, my name is Ruth, and today I'm gonna do another Whole Foods video. I mean, I love Whole Foods, but yeah, if you haven't seen my vlog, I'll link that down below. Definitely check it out. It's when I went um, grocery shopping at Whole Foods. So today I am going to do 10 tips and hacks of shopping at Whole Foods. So if you like my videos, like my health videos, my beauty videos, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below as well. And we're going to dive right into my 10 tips. So uh, tip number one is shop their sale flyer and they come out with new one every Wednesday. It looks like this, you can pick it up in store or you can go on their website, I believe it's wholefoods.com but it might be wholefoodsmarket.com, I'll definitely link that down below. But it looks like this, and it'll either pop out on site like this or in list. I think you have an option. But their featured sales are pretty great. Like this um, snapper is $7.99 a pound. You save $4 a pound. That's pretty good. I got these grapes for $1.99. Pretty good deal too on grapes because sometimes they're $3.49. Sometimes they get $4.99 at Whole Foods. But that is a great deal. Even though it says regular price $2.99. I hardly see that. That was like last year's. So, um, last week's sale was $2.49 a pound. But yeah, definitely check out their flyer. Um, the next tip is tip number two is coupons. Uh, they do accept manufactured coupons and store coupons and you can combine them or you can use separate them. Separate, um, but yeah, they have a booklet in their store that looks like this. And they have everything. They have from supplements to water to yogurts in here. To like vegan stuff so pick up this book and check it out like it's uh, in the same rack with the flyer it's when you enter the Whole Foods they should have it in every store if there's two doors they have it two entrances they have two um, set up of the flyers and stuff the next thing is shop and season and it's mainly for produce and seafood with produce, like their fruits and their veggies, whatever springtime comes around, whatever is in season, they normally, normally all stores get them in large quantity, so they have like nice sales in them. So definitely check out the season. My favorite seasonal item is salmon during, I think, July month. It might be August month, but that's the season of salmon in stores. Um, I got I get salmon for $8.99 at Whole Foods. I get cocoa salmon, uh, sockeye salmon, which is my favorite, and keen salmon for $8.99. And I just uh, get a huge amount of them and just freeze them up in my freezer, hoping that'll last me a winter. This winter it didn't, so maybe I'll get more next. I'll probably get more this summer to freeze up. But it's really easy go-to dinner uh, recipe for salmon because you just pop it in the oven and it's ready for you. You can do it with potatoes, pasta, and I'm getting off track, but let's go back and uh, tip number four is Shop 365. It is their store brand. It looks like that. And um, it's normally cheaper than any other brands that they have. So definitely check it out. They mostly have everything in their store brand from sour cream to orange juice to chips to cookies to anything really. You can find at least keep a lookout for that. And normally the price would be cheaper than anything else. So tip number five is shop bulk and they have like dried fruit, nuts, chocolate, rice, grains, beans, uh, lentils in bulk. I'll give you an example. We're gonna buy pistachios and there's 365 brand. Uh, pistachios were $8.99 for 12 ounces while the same price in bulk was 16 ounces. So you get four more ounces extra. I mean who wouldn't want extra pistachios? They're pretty good, right? The next tip is tip number six is buy in case. Um, especially if you have kids or family or you like to drink uh, like a special drink because you know water goes quicker than food. Buy it in case and you save 10% off automatically if you get the case or even just ask one of the team members. They have a lot of team members in their store. Especially, I, I would say there would be at least one team member per section of the store so definitely go to a team member and tell them you want a case and they'll hook you up. Um, the next thing is 
shop the yellow tags. They're all like around the store and there's a bunch of them. There's not like two or three. These are sale items that are not in the flyer or are in the flyer. Some of them aren't. And um, some, some of them are weekly and some of them like extended for 10 days and some of them extended for a whole month. They all diff they're all different so definitely look out for those tags and a lot of things are on sale. It's not like two or three items per aisle. It's literally like 15 to 20 items per aisle. So, or more. Definitely check those out and keep an eye on the yellow tags. Tip number eight is sign up for their emails. And whenever you sign up, they send you like special promotions that are going on. Like they have Friday only promotions or Saturday only. Like this past weekend, they had this Parmesan type cheese for 25% off Saturday only. They don't, they don't know, like change labels on them, but they take it off at the cash register. So make sure you pay attention to that when you're checking out. Uh, tip number nine is uh, sample. Definitely try out samples so you know what you like and what you don't because you know sometimes you don't want to buy food that you're probably gonna hate um, but if you sample it you might love it and you might like not expect to love it and I think they have like a sample event every Saturday from 12 to 4 and at least in the Philly area stores where the store I go to so definitely t like check out the sample my last tip doesn't really apply to all, which is kind of sad, but it's for Dallas and Philly area. We sign up for their rewards program. I have a rewards card here on my keys. Um, they used to give them out in stores, but they stopped, and now you have to sign up online. So sign up online, and they'll send you a card, and it's a great way of saving. They definitely changed their program. It used to, last year it used to be like if you spend 500 points, you get five dollars, like cashback coupon so like it was pretty good but now they changed it but they sent me a coupon through my card that I get 10% off my purchase which is great if I go and spend $100 I get $10 back I mean who wouldn't want like spend instead of $109 that's pretty good I spent I think it was like $80 and I get $8 back or something like that but yeah definitely if you're in Dallas and Philly areas apply for that rewards card and if you're not, email them because this was supposed to be statewide and we were supposed to be like the practice uh, area, but it's been a year. So definitely email them asking about the rewards in your state. Maybe they'll get it to you. Maybe they'll get statewide quicker than not people not knowing about it. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. That's all my tips. So if you guys have any questions on anything that I like mentioned today, uh, comment below. I'll definitely get back to you as quick as possible. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for more of my videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.